What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I've got one story for you, no questions. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below with the hashtag question. We'll answer it in tomorrow's video. Without further ado, let's jump into the tech news. Like I said, our first and only story of the day has to do with foldable phones. There is a grip of foldable phones coming out this summer. Four, actually. I guess five, it depends how you count it, but there's a lot of foldable phones coming out. And I'm not talking about in China. I'm talking about worldwide, have them be in all throughout the world, America, or a mixture of both or everything. So basically, I believe all these phones should be coming out um, somewhat worldwide and definitely all in the United States. So let's talk about this. Our first one is a company I don't talk about all that much. It's Moto or Motorola. They're coming out with a new Razer Ultra phone. And this is gonna be in a competitor to the Galaxy Z Flip phone. And it's got some cool things going on for it. So just design wise, this is what it looks like. Very similar to what you would expect a Z Flip 5 to look like. See the cameras on the back, the big, big outside display, which we'll talk about in a minute, and then a fairly big inside display as well. And it folds right in half. And when you compare the specs of the Z Flip 5 to the Moto Razr 40 Ultra, you can see the Ultra from Moto has a bigger outs in inside display at 6.9 and 165 hertz refresh rate, which is better than what Samsung has to offer. Also, the outside display is 3.6 inches versus 3.4 inches. Now, the processor is better on the Z Flip 5 a little bit, 8 Gen 2 versus 8 Gen 1 Plus. You have the cameras, which megapixel wise, the Moto beats it. Bigger battery as well on the Moto and faster charging. Water resistance is better on the Galaxy Z Flip. And that Moto phone is due to be coming out, or at least announced, on June 1st, which is literally this coming week when it's gonna be announced, this Thursday coming up. So we should know more about its price, everything about it, availability, but it should be available in America and the rest of the world as well. Keep your eye on this one. This might be the one to get if you're liking those, you know, foldable, just closable phones like traditional uh, flip phones in the past, but obviously in a smart way. But that's not over, guys, because right a few weeks later, we have the Google Pixel Fold, which we know a lot about, $17.99. It's gonna have a wider form factor on the outside and inside versus the Galaxy Z Fold 5. It's gonna be $1,799. They got some great trade-ins. It's got the Tensor G2 processor, 12 gigs of RAM. And it has the special updated software on there, different from how Samsung provides us with that little bar at the bottom to multitask easier. There's some cool things about this. The Pixel cameras, there's a lot to like about that. And it's mere weeks away. Some of you have pre-ordered I have pre-ordered it. I'm very excited about that phone. But then we're not done, guys. We still have more phones to talk about. We have, you know, in basically the end of July or early August, you have the Galaxy Z Flip 5 and Fold 5, which again, we know a lot about. Both phones are carrying over a lot of the same design features from the last generation. The Flip 5 is more of a difference on there, which I just showed you what it's gonna look like versus the Moto Razr Ultra. It's gonna have the bigger outside display, but the Fold 5 is gonna look very similar to the last few generations of the Galaxy Z Fold, but still you're gonna get a new processor, better uh, hinge built in there, probably less crease on the display, better performance. There's some things to like about it. Updated cameras ever so slightly, mostly with AI. So again, there are some things to like about it and that'll be out sometime again at the end of July, but most likely probably in the first week or two of August. But the remaining phone, which we've also spoken about, would be the OnePlus V fold which we don't know a lot about but we do know it's going to have some great great specs on there you're going to get that eight inch inside 2k 120 hertz display 6.5 inch outside display in display fingerprint sensor massive megapixel cameras 16 and 32 megapixels on the selfie 8 gen 2 processor UFS 4.0 storage, 4805 milliamp battery, 100 watt charging, alert slider, quad speakers. This thing's gonna be an absolute beast of a folding phone when it comes out. This one to me, at least coming out in America, is the, is it just spec wise, 
is a huge one to watch. It makes me think, I don't think they're gonna price theirs anywhere near what Google Pixel Fold and what Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 are gonna be. I think this one's gonna be under 1500 bucks if I had to guess. Oh, I, I might be wrong. I just have a feeling the way they're gonna price it is gonna be much more competitive with the rest of the world um, of foldable phones, much more foldable uh, price. Um, aware with it. So I think that one's going to be definitely a one to watch. It might not be the best, but just, you know, when you're looking at that one, the, the OnePlus V Fold, that one I feel like it has a lot, at least hardware wise, has a lot going for it. Let me know what you, about you guys, which one gets you the most excited. Uh, for me, if I had to rank them, obviously I'm really dying to try that Google Pixel Fold. Um, but for me, um, I'll be honest, it's, it's the the main ones that I'm really wanting to try, I really want to try that Moto Razr Ultra Phone. I want to try the Z Flip 5. I want to try the Pixel Fold, and I definitely want to try that OnePlus Fold. The Z, Z Fold 5 doesn't excite me that much, but if I had to guess, I, the Z Fold 5 would probably be the, if I, again, if I had to guess, probably the best seller out of all of these devices, minus the Z Flip 5, which will probably outsell it. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road.